it was 100% turnaround. I mean, we had a certain plan going in. We had it all summer long, all spring and summer. We're ready to roll, and on the second day, Nico tears his meniscus and plan B, and we didn't even have a plan B. We took our best athlete, our fastest kid, and uh, made him our quarterback. We played the whole year with a receiver at quarterback, and uh, our offense struggled pretty much at, uh, almost the whole season. We had not much of a passing game. So, you know, losing Nico changed everything, and uh, hopefully he can stay healthy this year and won't have to do with a plan B. And Nico's phenomenal. I mean, if he would have played quarterback last year, he'd be talked about all over the state. He's a phenomenal athlete. You know, I call him Nick the Freak. He's such a freak athlete. He, I mean, he's already got verbal offer of the University of Oregon to pitch. Um, he's, he's just super, and he's, he's smart. He can run, he can throw, he can do it all. And then Nick Huggins is coming off. He'll be his third year starter on, on defense and second year starter on offense. Tanner Monin's a second year starter at running back for us. And, um, you know, we got a big receiver in Austin Kirkwood and Tony, of course, at a tight end. And we got Coleman Stagmeyer and a junior and a junior, Nate McDonald, other, other two kids we can throw to. So we've got a lot of options, kids that can make plays. There's Sheldon in North Medford's good. And Central Catholic Jesuit, they're always going to be great. You know, after those guys, I think the next best four or five teams in the state are probably out of our league. Don't know who they're going to be, but I'm sure they're there. And you faced three of them, including Sheldon there at the, at the, the last three games of your uh, yeah, season last Sheldon. year. I mean, yeah. I think you had Sherwood, Sheldon, and... And, and West Lynn. West Lynn. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, so that's, a, just, that's a gauntlet. It's a, yeah, it's killer. But, you know, the great thing about it is that power ranking. You know, last year we were 3-7, and seven and we still got a playoff game. So, you know, you play the teams that are that good, it's going to help your power ranking in the end. And playing the best teams once you get into the playoffs, you know, like two years ago, shoot, we did that gauntlet, you know, and... We got into the playoffs, won three straight games, and basically it's because of the competition we had during the regular season.